Hey everybody, so today we're going to look at Navisworks uh, and we're going to look at a setting that you can change, two settings that you can change when you export NWCs from Revit. Um, so those two settings are convert element parameters and convert element properties. So what those look like uh, are, are, is this. Uh, so there's four dialog boxes here. They're the same. Uh, the only difference is is in each of these there's a setting that's different. Uh, before I show you that, I just want to show you the benefit of uh, messing with these uh, properties or these settings. So you can see here I've got a search set I created and it's looking at uh, Revit type as the category, property as the function, uh, or function as the property, and then for the conditions we're just doing equals uh, one. One's the value. So within all of these walls uh, their function equals one the only difference between e all of these walls so each pair of walls is a file um, that I've exported and the difference between each of these pair is the way they have been exported and that affects the search set because um, those parameters or those settings uh, will based off of what you select will determine what properties uh, that you actually get uh, within these elements inside of Navisworks. Um, so it can affect your search set and that's actually why this came up was because um, we had some issues with clash test and we found that uh, we use an, an automation or a platform to automate our NWC exports and it, it had it was set uh, wrong in there and so it was it what our elements were getting exported without the Revit type uh, category so we couldn't use um, one of our uh, search sets that was tied into a clash test um, so we didn't get the benefit of that um, so that's kind of where it came up so this could have a pretty big effect on your your clash test and other um, areas that you leverage search sets in so uh, to look at these again, we've got uh, four different options. We've got all uh, for the parameters. So there's only two options, all and elements for this setting. And then we've got convert element properties. So that's checked in this option. And we're gonna briefly look at each, each option. And then uh, we've got convert elements. Uh, and then, I mean convert element par parameters. And then we have elements set there. And then convert element properties. And that's checked. And then we've just got the same combination, except for now elements is el convert element properties is unchecked in both of these. Um, so now we'll just look at these individually. So you can see if it's set to convert all parameters all, and then convert element properties, we get all uh, uh, categories for that element. And I think in for this one, it's somewhere around 25 or 26 categories that you can choose from. The next one, and so this is the second pair, it has convert element parameters set to elements. Um, and this was directly uh, the issue that I ran into with the search set that we were leveraging for um, our clash test or for some of them. Uh, was this setting here. It was convert element parameters and it was set to elements. Uh, and you can see up here, if we do kind of a comparison, you can see that the two options or the two categories that aren't in this export, this one here, are phase created and Revit type. Um, so those were in the uh, overall one here with the convert element parameters all those were in here so the Revit type and then face created so that was you know the the reason why our search set were mess search sets were messing up which caused our clash test to mess up mess up and the simple fix was to change that setting to all the next one is if we uncheck that box and have this set to all we still get the um, the Revit type and face created. And Revit type, 
uh, since I haven't explained that, it's the it's parameters that are they're more they're type parameters for that element. Um, so as you can imagine, if you only have it set to element, it's only going to pick up like the instance uh, parameters, but not necessarily the type parameters. And that's really the big difference between uh, elements in all when you have that set there. And then convert element properties. You can see it dropped a ton off when we have that unchecked. So it drops uh, quite a bit and we can do kind of a, a comparison here you can see uh, kind of what isn't there so we've got material which is up here so that's at the end now timeliner which is at the end over here phase created element and then element id autodesk material revit material and then item and then demolish wall type demolish id uh, create uh, phase id all of that information, these IDs, uh, work set ID, document, all that information isn't in this export. And the reason why you may wanna like kinda play with these settings is if you happen to not need any of that information, um, it's possible that that data, all that extra data could bog down the model. Um, I typically have it set to all and convert element properties and haven't had that issue, but I could imagine that if it was converting just uh, the you know like the the minimal amount of information that you may uh, get faster export times and stuff uh, but it kind of you know it, it's worth testing I guess if you have a big enough model and the uh, exports are taking out uh, taking a good chunk of time um, and it also it's worth you know if you don't need the data then there's no point to export it so um, you know leverage those settings I guess as needed uh, so the next one or the last one is convert element parameters and it's set to elements and it has the convert element properties checkbox off uh, again this is um, well not again but this is the same uh, as uh, when you change L uh, all to elements it only drops those two parameters which is the face created and then the Revit type so it drops those two and that's it and then plus you don't have all the other ones that the element properties have which is like 10 or so uh, categories so you don't get any of those um, but if this is all you needed if you just needed the element ID and the element um, parameters the parameters that are associated with this um, then you know it, that would be good enough and that's the minimal amount of information and then that you need then you you know you can set it this way export it it may speed up the time it may reduce file size I'm not entirely sure I haven't tested that um, but you could always play around with that but I wanted to mention this because if you find that you do, you're not finding some of those um, uh, you know uh, categories in your your properties panel it could be that uh, you need to play around with these settings and change some things to get those properties uh, so that's um, and oh, and here's a direct uh, comparison of the previous one where it was set to all. It was just these two uh, parameters that were dropped off, so just face created and then Revit type. So that's what I got. Um, we can look real quick at the Navis file. So I do have it open. You can see here I've got a search set that was the one you just saw in the PowerPoint. If we do find all. You can see it grabs these two elements and then we can quickly look at uh, the properties and I've got them fully expanded so you can see here this is part of the first uh, file so you can see here if we uh, close this uh, selection tree and then uh, look at these four files you can see there's four different ones and if we kind of grab them one by one you could see each each pair of walls is pertains to a file and so if we start here at the first one we can just grab one of these walls and then you can see there's Revit type uh, there's face created there's all the other parameters switch over here you can see Revit type is gone um, go over here you can see a lot of the parameters we do have face created Revit type and then element and then element um, 
I mean, sorry, you can see there's all these parameters. It doesn't have the face created or uh, Revit type. But as you notice, this one does have the Revit type. It does have the function um, parameter or property, and it has the value as one. If we jump over here to this one, uh, so this is the first pair, that is the third pair. This first pair you can see does have the Revit type down here, function one. Um, and that's what we're looking for. So when we do find all, you can see it grabs the first pair and then the third pair because those elements have that parameter so it can find it. Um, even though these are the exact same uh, modeled elements, at least uh, from uh, Revit's perspective, but from Navisworks, um, it's looking at the properties and at least that's what we're trying to do with the search sets and it's not you know finding all the walls it's just finding the ones that have that so that was one of the issues we ran into on a project um, I took a few minutes to or actually uh, an hour or so to actually figure out like why that was happening found it was that setting so hopefully this helps you if you've noticed that before um, just play around with those settings to get it you know to something that that works for you but i appreciate you watching and i'll see you in the next video